Hi, it's Gina with your note of the week. This week's note are about my five favorite reports. I'm going to start an inventory and go to reports. And the first report I'd like to show you is the inventory analysis report. What I like about this report is I can run it on a very granular level at the item level, or I could use this drop down and make it more summarized by running it at the category level. I can also decide the print order. It defaults to the inventory value, but I can print it in order by quantity on hand or sales values. I can also choose whether to print just the top 10, and you can make this 10 any value you like, or the bottom, whatever value, or all. I'm going to select all. I can select a single location or all locations. Now notice my date ranges are grayed out. It's because I'm reporting on the inventory value, but if I use this drop down, I can report by quantity sold or sales, and that will allow me to pick a sales date range. I'm just going to go back a little bit. So I'm just going to click on preview, and you can see that it's a very nice report. I can see my on hand and my sold. I can see my committed, my on orders, my retail value, profit figures, inventory value, and weeks on hand. I'm going to close out of this report. Another report that I like is the inventory status report. So I'm going to click on inventory status, let the page load. This again is another report that I can arrange very granularly at the item level or summarize at the vendor category level. And a very cool thing I can do about this report is report at the location level. So CounterPoint will break out each location for me. I can also figure out how I want it ordered, you know, by item number or category or vendor. I can decide what quantities I want. It defaults to all, but I can say maybe I just want to see non-zero or below min-max. I can also tell CounterPoint what I want to print on the report. Now it defaults to quantity on hand, PO, min, max, but maybe I just want to see on order, back order, special order, transfers, or maybe all quantities. I can even have additional information. Last received, sold, last counted, and that means counted on a physical inventory, or the inventory value, the stock status. And I'm going to preview. And here I have a very nice report that's broken out at the location level that shows me on hand, on order, min, max, last received, last re sold, and last counted. Another report that I like is a sales report. It's called Flash Sales, and you'll find it under Sales History, Reports, Flash Sales. This is a very nice, brief, and brilliant report. I can print an order by store. I can have comparative date ranges by enabling the letter B. I can look at all stores, and CounterPoint will give me a breakout for each store when I select all stores. But here's the coolest part about this report. I can go to select columns, and I can add columns that I want to see on the report like average selling price. Now notice at the bottom here, it says I've selected seven out of 10 possible columns that I can have on this report. And if I use this drop down, I can either have a seven column, 10 column, or 11 column. I typically stick with seven columns because I know seven columns will fit nicely on eight and a half by 11 paper. Sometimes when you have 10 or 11 columns, the report will wrap and it'll just be a little difficult to read. I can also disable the dollar rounding. So I'm just gonna go ahead and preview. And you can see I have a very nice report that just gives me one line of information showing the columns that I selected on this report. Nice report. Now my absolute favorite sales report is sales analysis by group. This will only report on sales. I'm going to click on that. Now in sales analysis by group, I've actually pre-built some reports. So if I go to options, and load parameters, you can see all the reports that I've pre-built. I'm going to select my sales by item report. Once I load the report that I pre-built, I can print all, or I can specify top or bottom, whatever value. 
I can arrange the print order, and I can have comparative date ranges, which is very nice. I can report on one store or all stores, and just like the flash sales, I can come here to select columns and select how many columns and what I want to see on the report. Like perhaps I want to add profit dollars. I'm just going to double click on this. Now notice this is a seven column report. I have seven out of seven columns selected. Again, like in flash sales, I can have 10 or 11, but I usually stick to seven because it makes the report fit very nicely on eight and a half by 11 paper. So I'm going to preview. And, oh, I think I need to change my date range so we actually see some figures. So let me come back here to parameters and I'll just change this to 2017 and preview. And so here I have a very nice sales by item report. And I really like this percent to totals. What's nice about this is I can see out of all the dollars I collected, all the retail dollars, two tenths of a percent can be attributed to this particular item. So $62 out of everything. Now in order to pre-build the reports, make an appointment with the training department. We'll be happy to help you build some reports that have meaning to you. And last but not least, under Inventory, Reports, Merchandise Analysis. Now what's great about the Merchandise Analysis report is you can report on multiple data types. And data type is just fancy for sales as a data type, on hand as a data type, on order, transfers, those are all data types. So you can put different data types on one report, which is great. In merchandise analysis, just like in sales analysis, you can pre-build the reports and load them by going to options, load parameters, and so here's some of my pre-built reports. I'm going to select the sold on hand report and load it. Now, once I load the report, I can decide if I want to print all or top or bottom, whatever value. I can rank it by quantity sold or sales. I can group it, category or vendor, specify a date range, select a specific location or all locations. And here's what's great about this report. I can actually have the report break out the location detail, which I really like. And again, like sales analysis and flash sales, I can come here to select columns and select the quantitative values that I want to appear on the report. Notice I have four out of 10 columns selected. 10 is the limit for this report, but again, the rule of thumb is about seven, so everything fits nicely. Here's another great thing about merchandise analysis. There's lots of KPIs in here. That's key product indicators. Now, notice how big my scroll bar is. I'm just going to enable this little switch, show all columns, and now I have lots of choices. And by key product indicators, gross margin return on investment. Things like, and let me just add that thing, and I'm just double clicking to add, by the way. Uh, things like sell through percent, that's another great key product indicator. Or how about stock to sales, or even turns or weeks on hand. And then once I add those, I can just click on preview. And here is a very nice report broken out at the location detail. If you need help pre-building some of your merchandise analysis reports, please contact the training department. We're more than happy to help you. That's my top five reports. Hope you enjoyed this session and I'll talk with you again next week. Thanks for joining me for this session of Note of the Week. Hope to see you again soon. We would love to hear from you. If you would like to submit a question for Note of the Week, email training at CKSystem.com. And on the subject line, type Note of the Week. If you would like to schedule training time or request a free training catalog, call me at 888-476-7911, extension 3. Talk to you next week. Bye.